All right, with the prerequisites out of the way, uh, now what we can do is actually use the React Search component in our destination app. So this is where the uh, module is hosted uh, up here. So if you wanted to browse the source code or have a look at some of the examples, it's on GitHub uh, in our Vectara repository, and the name of it is React Search. Um, you can see it's been contributed by Derek, uh, one of our fantastic engineers. He's been super helpful, um, helped me out with some uh, Node, or not Node, Next.js um, assistance that I, I did after I got it working in a basic React app. So, you know, kudos to Derek and all the hard work he does. Um, this gives a bit of a preview of what we'll be doing in a second uh, within our application. What I'll do now is I'll just create a quick shell application. Again, this is a thing that the Create UI will do for you. Um, I'll skip past the time it takes uh, to do this in the video. So without further ado, we'll go over here. Let's give it a try. All right, so the first command we need to do, um, and again, if you've already got your application, you won't need to do this, um, will be npx create All right, uh, with that done, uh, now we can go through and actually install the React Search module. So we come into here, or packages, some people say, uh, go into the new uh, directory we've just created. Okay, we've got our uh, new project with the dependency installed. Now we can go into our favorite IDE. I happen to use PyCharm. I'm going to create a new React project and I'll put it in this new base directory. All right, we've got our new project. If we go to the source directory, so if you've got an existing project, um, you'll be opening up one of your existing sources. Um, we'll just open up this one over here. Now, one of the rules here, we have to actually return back a single um, element uh, inside this. So what we'll do is under the header, we'll put a new um, element here. We'll go back to the GitHub site and we'll copy the template. Um, I'll also need the import statement too, so I'll just copy it all in one. Let's put this over here. Let's fix this up, put this back up to the top. Lovely. All right. So now with our trusty customer ID, corpus ID, and API key, we can plug these in. All right. That should be it. That's literally all you have to do to include React Search into your application. Uh, now we just need to start up our app. Let's see how this goes. And we're fired up. So have a look. Now, this is probably not the best example because it's put it all the way down the bottom, but if I have a look over here, let's look for um, uh, how to upload files to Tara. All right, so this has actually found multiple files. It's actually also found some JavaScript in there too, which we indexed. Um, so I could click on this one and it takes us to the documentation page for Vectara. Um, but yeah, so seems to work as expected. Uh, that's how quick it is to install a React Search into your application as you go. Um, just for a last one, I'll also just quickly show uh, there's a slight difference. If you want to do this for uh, Next.js, um, this is a slight tweak Derek's done. I'll just quickly show this one too. So again, here's one I prepared earlier. And the one big difference here, and I put this one in its own component, but instead of importing uh, React Search, I, uh, there's a slight name change, it's React Search Next. 
Um, and then after that, um, there's a slightly different component to uh, import in the lib directory there. And that's literally all you have to do, otherwise it's exactly the same. So just to recap on this session, we covered the necessary prerequisites and steps needed to integrate React Search from Vectara in your application, enabling you to bring blazing fast semantic search to empower your users. Thank you again for your time and wish you all the best. Reach out to us if you need any assistance with it, um, we're more than happy to help.